Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here. And today we've got some news for you. Yeah, one of the subscribers pointed out the other day that Grizzly is coming in. Well, let's say they're, uh, they're more than just dipping their toe in the pool, if you will. They're going whole hog and jumping into the cordless 20 volt game. I guess it shouldn't be surprising considering some of the stuff that they've carried in the past. But here we go. We can see they've got the real deal right here. 20 volt all the way. Now, remember, that's the same thing as 18 volt. That's just a, a marketing hype because it's 20 volt max, top end, whatever. It, it's not the nominal voltage. So when you see an 18 volt versus a 20 volt, you're not getting any bonus two, two volts out of it. All right. That said... Let's take a look at what they, they're offering here. We got a 20 volt brushless hammer drill. That, that's a good looking tool there. Uh, has definitely the DeWaltish kind of design there with the battery and whatnot. A nice metal chuck. It looks pretty good. Speed here, we got, uh, we got the half inch metal chuck, of course. Two speed brushless motor, zero to 600 and zero to 2000. Uh, 22 setting clutch. Yeah, I'm never big. Anytime you see the, the clutch settings, it's, I mean, it's kind of nice and all, but. You know, it's as long as it has like more than five, right? <laughs> Any, anything past, you know, I think like 15 is kind of overkill. LED work light, uh, kind of interesting. Looks, it's almost like it's standalone. I don't know if you can tell that it actually hangs down underneath and it protrudes a bit. Maybe you'll get more light out of it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. We'll see. Uh, they're claiming 370 foot pound of torque. It has a belt clip, of course. I'm not, you know, the bear, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, not a big fan of belts for that matter. 20 volt brushes impact over here. Now this looks cool. This definitely has the DeWalt. Who else does this? The tricolor, uh, the Bauer one does it. And I think, uh, who is it? The orange guys, uh, rigid. They, they do that tri -light. I gotta say, I, I do really like it. I, I like the, the three light. It creates a, a nice, you know, aura effect around the, uh, the work piece. Then we got a three eighths brushless impact wrench. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, you know, right out of the box, we got the 20 volt circular saw. We got the recip saw. Da, da, da. Let's see here. What else we got? We got ourselves. It looks like a standard jigsaw, an oscillating tool with nine accessories. We got a four and a half inch, uh, four half. Yeah. Four and a half inch angle grinder, 10,000 RPM. Blah, blah, that looks about standard. And Here's one of the things that's really interesting. The way they're offering these tools, they're offering them as tool only, tool with battery, tool with battery and charger, and then as a kit. I got to say, I, I really appreciate offering them in all those different configurations because I've never been a big fan of kits unless you're buying like the kit that has like everything in it. Um, so we got... We got the two-piece drill driver kit there for $189. Now, these are brushless, I should point out. So, these are coming in uh, brushless with two amp-hour batteries with a claimed fast charger. Now, I don't have full specs. I haven't seen the charger. Remember, I haven't had any of these in, in, uh, in PAW, if you will, but I uh, hope to be able to grab some of them uh, shortly. Then, we got, oh, I, I like this. We got the saw kit, the contractor kit, and the master kit. <laughs> Of note here, they've got a USB adapter, which, you know, that's the thing that pops on your battery so you can charge it with the USB. That's the thing that pops on your battery. You can charge it with USB. You got a 2.0, a 4.0 battery. We got the inflator down there. We got a nice little Bluetooth speaker. And there's the fast charger. It says 2.4 amp fast charger. Yeah. I don't think I can call a 2.4 amp a fast charger, but anyway, when we get the Grizzly uh, Pro dual port uh, station, I like that. I, I do like the, the dual charger station. Looks a lot like that Porter Cable one, to be to be honest. Again, it's at 2.4 amps there. Anyway, that's all we got there. There's the whole system. That's everything, but not quite everything. So I reached out to them to talk to them about something they decided they didn't want to talk to the bear, I guess, uh, you know. Uh, just just to be clear that uh, Grizzly and myself, we're, we're, we're not related. Uh, I in no way, am, you know, I don't speak for them. They don't speak for me. 
I, I'm not a grizzly. I am a North American tool bear, just to be clear. Completely different families. You can tell by my, my rugged good looks. Yeah, like that. So I reached out to some of my friends uh, who've got some connections over in China. You know, uh, the bear here actually, I dipped my toe in the importing business a while back and, and got to learn how the whole, you know, tricks of the trade work, if you will. And when it comes to tools, in fact, actually most items over there, there's really three levels you can come in at as dealing with, you know, Chinese manufacturers. And that is, you know, what I call a tier one. And a tier one is all the design and engineering is done over here in the States. You got, you know, real... <clears throat> You got people with degrees and a lot of initials behind their names doing all this electronic and, and mechanical design work, designing the tool, and then working closely with the Chinese manufacturer to build the molds, the processes, the, all the machinery that goes in it. So really, they're just being used. Uh, so really, the Chinese side is just being used for the actual manufacturing, but you're getting American di design tech, if you will. You know, let's look at the uh, Apple products where it says designed in Cupertino on the back. They, they say that for a reason. All right, then we got tier two. Tier two comes in and looks at what the manufacturer has and says, okay, we like that, but you got to do this for us. You, you got to meet these kind of specs. It has to have this level of, you know, motor and it's got the plastic needs to be of this level quality. The mold has to, you know, anyway, a lot of quality control in and then also like specs about the the stuff that goes into it, because a lot of these factories, you know, they're not building every single part. They're buying from other factories themselves. So they it, think of it as not quite custom. Think of a semi-custom, all right, where they're coming in, they're looking at a base model going, yeah, that looks good, but we want to tweak it and make it better. And then you've got tier three. And tier three is just straight what's called white boxing, white labeling. Basically, what you do is you come in and you say, all right, I like what that is there. Put it in a box, put my name on it, and let's resell it. Uh, a lot of times they can change the plastic for you. They have different colors available and they're like, okay, well, sure, we'll do that. And this, this happens a lot of times. Now in the past, what I've seen from Grizzly for the most part is a lot of tier two stuff where they're going out, they're finding manufacturers and they're going, that's great, but we want you to hit these level of specs and we want to design it like this. So you get some modification to it. Well, I, I reached out and, and it kind of, and the reason I did was because they kind of brought this to market awfully quickly and they brought everything to market at once. And that to me smacks of somebody who's, uh, I'm just guessing here. I don't have actual facts stating this, but somebody who's just reboxing somebody else's already developed product. And with a <laughs> one phone call and I found this. This is the Vol Plus brushless motor, cordless drill, power tool, cordless drill driver, uh it looks oddly familiar doesn't it yes oddly familiar in fact the only difference i could find besides the color and the label is the chuck so there is some there is there is some input obviously going on here but uh, looking at the specs and everything i went through all of vol plus's uh products it looks like Grizzly reached out, said, great, we'll take this product line, make these few changes, because I, I couldn't find anything different on the brushless. I definitely not on the Cirque saw and on the Recip saw. I don't know. You guys be the judge. Is it really a Grizzly or is it just the Vol Plus? You know, not to knock Grizzly too hard, okay? Don't think I'm a Grizzly hater. I'm actually a huge Grizzly fan bear. I have to say, like, when it comes to, say, you know, bandsaws and stuff, you cannot touch this Grizzly bandsaw with anybody else out there, except for maybe Shop Fox. That, that's a joke. That's a joke. Some of you get it. Some of you don't. If, if you don't Google it, you'll figure it out. Then you'll, then you'll get a chuckle. Anyway, the, the whole point is that the, the, that I do like a lot of stuff that they make. I think they've got some great deals on table saws. I think they've got just outstanding bandsaws. They've got a lot of great, you know, very serious high-end machinery. They really do. I am a fan bearer of, of Grizzly and I have been for some time. I even owned a saw almost exactly like this. And I gotta say, it's the best bandsaw I've ever touched, much less, you know, in this price range. I've, I've worked with, so 
I've played around with some industrial stuff, and of course, you know, that's going to be higher end. But for the for the average person, this this is just a killer saw. But that said, we don't excuse people just, just because they make, you know, 99% of their products are amazing. But I'm not saying that the company, you know, is horrible or anything. This is just me saying, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see these tools come out. I think it's cool to see somebody else throw their hat in the ring. I just hope they live up to the grizzly reputation. All right, that's all the bear has for you. Just a quick update tonight. You guys take care, and as always, shine on. Oh, sorry, and don't forget to check out the forums at denotools.com. Join the discussion. All right, well, good night for now. <laughs>